the word of about getting the off and off and stuff. Until New Year's Day, we went to the Oculus block to be hired to the highest bidder for one year. Israel Campbell wrote in a uh, memoir published in 1861 in Philadelphia, in which he described being hired on three times. That where that thing comes from, that what you do on New Year's Day, you'll be doing all the rest of the year. A former player known as Victor Harrison said in an interview in 1937. See, that's the origin of that thing. What you do on New Year's Day is what you're going to do for the rest of the year because the play will be auctioned off. And guess what? They were playing for the rest of the year. That's the same. Good year. Because this is the curse that would have been us for not following the law that's commandment. Is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15, but it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord your Howard about to shine that power to the observe to do all his commandment and his statute, which I command thee today, that all these curses shall come upon thee. And overtake these, these, the, these curses overtook us. So I'm gonna jump down. It's uh, verse 29, and thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed, only oppressed, slavery, and spoil evermore, and no man shall stay thee. So they were dreading, because, you know, being hired, they wasn't going to be stayed. That was prophecy. We had to see into that place. That's why they were hoping uh, they would have a uh, slave master that was, you know, treat them, treat them right. But then that would, um, or basically, it wasn't going to get a humane slave master, right? Because the property and the curse is dead, that they would be oppressed and spoiled evermore. So we had inhumane slave masters because of the curses. This is uh, verse 32. Thy son and thy daughter shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long. There shall be no might in thy hands. Now, we didn't have no power in our hands to avoid uh, our kids or family being split up on that hiring day or uh, New Year, don't call New Year's Day. family up.
and then we know this part right here. <laughs> the, the holiday became more associated with freedom than slavery when Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, freeing slaves in the Confederate State on New Year's Day in 1863. Slaves went to church, see, and we know that he didn't um, free the slave, right? The slave wasn't free. Uh, did a video on that so I can look it up real quick. It's on my main page down right now. That's not where I wanted to go. Alright, there we go. Bear with me real quick. Here we go. Lock it in. Let's uh, see this can work.
the lock is. Bear with me real quick. I'm trying to get this city on. But we know that what Abraham Lincoln did on the Emancipation Proclamation, all he did was transfer uh, private ownership to uh, federal ownership. That's all he did. So you, that's why you niggas think you uh, free to, to the day, but you're not. You know that's why you have a uh, third security card, uh, birth certificate. That's what the Master Patron Proclamation was all about, transferring you from private to uh, federal ownership. And this is why you go to church on uh, New Year's Eve, so-called New Year's Eve, because that's what it said. It said, free and slave in the federal state on New Year's Day in 1863. Slave went to church to pray and sing on December 31st, 1862, and that's why there are still New Year's Eve prayer services out so-called African American church and nationwide at such watch night services congregants continue to pray for more white bread, racial equality 157 years later there's not going to be no racial equality in um, the so-called white man kingdom eat all kingdom let's see if that loaded yet I don't know, it takes so long. Okay, well, one video I did. You want to check it out? Juneteenth didn't free you niggas still in captivity. There was another video I did though. On the proclamation. The Master Patriot Proclamation. Yeah, check that out. If I can find a link, I'll put it in the description box on the other uh, video I did concerning um, Abraham Lincoln. So yeah, I'll put this link in the description box as well. See, so this is the curse that we had to go through. You know, our life, uh, hey, I don't know if I got that one yet. Yeah, Virtue did that. Deuteronomy 28, Virtue did that. It said, um, In thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fare day and night, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. See? So, on New Year's Day, on New Year's Eve, and then from New Year's Day, our life was hanging in doubt. We, uh, they were fearful of whether or not they were getting auctioned off or not. Imagine you uh, being up all night thinking about being auctioned off or not. 
And that's what happens. And shall have none assurance of thy life. If the in the morning thou shalt stay with God, it were even, and at even thou shalt stay with God, it were morning. Refer thy heart that mine wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thy eye which shalt thou see. See? So we was, uh, we were careful. That was the courage that we had to go through. So that's it on that, you know. I believe I cover everything as far as the curses uh, that we read in this article. So with that, you know, New Year's Day uh, Eve it was nothing nice. They had a dark path they could read in this article. So with that, what love a ball, shalom.